dear friends, welcome to California Life Podcast. And today we have our friend, uh, our guest, is John Kabatek from Kabatek Strategy. You are president of Kabatek Strategy, correct? That's correct. And also you national director of NFIB. Many people don't know what is NFIB. I would like to translate. It's a national federation of independent business. That's correct. You got it right. <laughs> John, thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you very much for supporting all business activity. I know that you are pro-business and everything what you're doing, helping our business community, helping our local communities and nationwide communities. And I see you a lot talking about legislative stuff. But before we'll talk about details, uh, can you explain what is NFIB, what is Kabatek strategy, and what is your role in these two organizations? Yeah. Well, thank you, first of all, Sergey. It's always great to be with you. Love having these discussions. And I really appreciate how much that you, Russian American media, uh, and, and just your partners believe in the future of small businesses being successful. So the expo that you have coming up and so much, we really appreciate everything that you do. And thank you for joining and supporting this expo. <laughs> Excited about that coming up, September 6th. September 6th. Everybody needs to be there. Don't be forget there. to turn out. Be there. <laughs> and uh, Capitec Strategies and NFIB are just proud to be a partner with you once again this year. Um, but it's been wonderful. You know, the National Federation of Independent Business is actually a California-born organization. Okay. We were formed uh, We were formed in 1943, 80 years ago, this wow. year. Wow. So it's a celebration, uh, huh? A big celebration. <laughs> lots of parties. And um, it was was based and it was founded by a gentleman who owned a small business uh, and was a member of the United States Chamber of Commerce back then. Okay. And while he enjoyed that membership, he really still didn't feel that that organization was speaking all the time for the small, independent, privately held businesses, okay. of which really make up 99.2% of all businesses are, are the small right. businesses. So like a small business entrepreneur, he created a little club down in South San Francisco and that kind of blossomed over time to a few other states. Right. And today we now represent uh, small businesses in every single state uh, and in Washington, D.C. We have about, in California, about 14,000 small yes, businesses. You, you mentioned more than 14,000 already. And, and about 350,000 nationwide. Wow. And so our goal is very, very, very focused. It's to promote the right of small business owners to own operate and grow their businesses okay. and we're proud to do that every single day and and that's why we love programs like yours and and the expo coming up because that's right. what it's all about so we can promote more your objectives it's so important so when you're talking about helping small businesses can you explain uh, what how people how business owners can benefit from nfib well, thank you. Yes. Well, first of all, you know, a small business owner, whether they own a little machine shop, a bakery, a little uh, auto service store, a live, you know, kind of little bookstore, you name it. Uh, they're too busy running their business every single day. And they are working to make payroll, to create jobs, to help their community, to help their customers. They don't have the time to know all the issues that are affecting their everyday lives. Right. So when we were founded, our founder, Wilson Harder was his name, okay. he said, look, we want to be there in the state capitals and in Washington, D.C., and we want to make sure that we are protecting and helping to advocate on those issues. Mm. Now, let's be honest, policymakers, especially in California, they can make decisions in, with the flip of a switch that could dis destroy kill, a small business, business. Right. and oftentimes they do. Yeah. And on the flip side, they can do some positive things. But a small business owner is running their business. So what NFIB does is we make sure that we are that voice of small business, that we advocate for them. But the best part of it is, Sergey, we we ballot our members. We yeah. ask the small business owner members, what's important to you? Right. And what can we go represent you in those halls of the Capitol? So they tell us, and then we take it, and we fight for them every single day based on what they tell us. I see. And what is the best way? So I understand small business need to be a member, first of all, right? Yes. Of NFIB. And then they have contact information. They can actually uh, loudly say their problems, issues, what they have in small business, right? Operated small business. 
Correct, yeah. They can go to our website, uh, which is nfib.com, nfib.com. Okay. Sign up and be a member. Uh, our membership is usually anywhere between $200, $300 a year. Um, it's scaled based on the number of employees. Right. But uh, it really is, at the end of the day, a cost savings for small business owners who really don't know what they don't know. I so agree. we not only do we advocate for them in the capitals, we give them really vital information like I know your expo is going to be doing yeah. on small business loans, on small business opportunities, resources, networking. Uh, and so um, on an organizational level, it's very much akin to what you got going with the expo, which is networking, advocacy, right. education. Right. But the best thing is of all is making sure that they are not feeling like they're alone out there. Plus you have uh, personally and through NFIB and strategy, uh, Kabatic strategy, a lot of strategic connections yes. with organizations, with people that can help to solve problems like this probably, right? Absolutely. Yes. It's so important that they know they've got a voice for them because uh, I think on the one side, the many of them feel like there's interest that specifically only focus on kind of the larger businesses. Again, all great job creators. Uh, but on the other side, I think they feel like labor unions, lawyers, uh, and others who have these big special interests in the right. capital, when small businesses really are the biggest uh, job creator in our state and our country. Yes. So the best part of it is we give the people a chance to feel like they're being heard, know that they're not alone, and most importantly, know that the most important thing they should do mm -hmm. is focus on their business to keep it growing, creating jobs, helping our economy, right. and, and just doing better and, and expanding, especially coming out of COVID, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, business owners need more than ever organizations like NFIB, but also programs like this expo coming up because they really want that hope that they can crawl out of the hole and even grow bigger. Right. Thank you very much. So, dear friends, you can come to NFIB table at our expo and ask questions from John or his staff about how to operate your small business how to run your company, and if you have any problems, John can advise you what to do in your situation. Thank you very much, John. Thank you for joining our podcast, and we will continue to talk to you about future things, issues, laws, and other stuff that you're doing in your company. Oh, yes, thank you. And Sergey, again, I want to encourage everybody to please turn out for the Multicultural uh, Career and Business Expo on September 6th. This is a great opportunity for you, whether you're a small business owner, a member of the community, a nonprofit, to get to know other people, be involved, be informed, educated on contracting, on issues, on uh, loan opportunities, but most importantly, to help the small business owners be successful. And credit to you, my friend, you have taken this to grow to what now you have about 70? 14 years. And yeah. you have about 70 or 80 exhibitors this uh, year? We have 70 already registered, but wow. I think it's gonna be 100 by the end of. Uh, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but it's uh, 14 years of great success, and I, I just encourage everybody, September 6, 2020, be there for sure at the Sheraton in downtown Sacramento. We're proud to be a part of it, and we encourage you to turn out as well. <laughs>